Hey guys, welcome to the DJI Tello. Well, uh, maybe DJI Tello? Uh, actually, it is the Rise Tello. It is manufactured by a, company, a new company called Rise, but it has DJI technology inside of it. So they collaborated together and it has DJI technology inside of it, which I assume is going to be visual posi positioning sensors and all that kind of jazz that helps keep it safe. It is for sale on the DJI website, but is it out of stock? I'm not sure when it's going to be in stock. It's gonna be $99. Uh, you can buy an extra battery, propellers, propeller guards, snap on uh, fun covers, right? Change your color. But what you notice is there is no uh, remote controller for sale here. I believe what they're gonna be doing is having, uh, you can use a game pad. And I wouldn't be surprised if they might sell a, a, an extra package where you can buy the game pad included or something like that, but you don't have to have it. You can use your phone to control it and you can use a game pad to kind of pair with your phone so you can control it even easier. Now it's gonna have uh, a lot of technology built into it. DJI's flight technology, for instance, to help ensure that it's stable, it hovers, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's going to be super easy to use. It's marketed for newbie users. You don't have to be an expert. It's marketed to young people. Most of the images you'll see are related to teenagers for the most part. You can use uh, VR headsets. You can uh, use gamepad controllers like I was saying. They say that it'll get up to 13 minutes of flight time. As we know in the real world, you're probably gonna get more like 10 or 11 or nine or 10 as my guesstimate. They say you can take it out to 100 meters, but my guess is that most people are not going to really care about the 100 meters. They're gonna be playing around with it close in. A lot of the video that they show shows it, uh, playing around inside the house and around the backyard, uh, around a pool, you know, with a bunch of friends, and that kind of stuff. So I think it's gonna be a close to you type of uh, toy, a fun toy. It's not gonna be really for photography and videography like most of the rest of the DJI. Uh, uh, drones that are available. I have 720p HD transmission, I have a couple of antennas. It'll have the throw and go uh, technology, so you'll turn it on and you'll just be able to toss it and it'll sit there and hover. Allow you to do flips and do all kinds of different activities, including some easy shots, uh, which are probably very similar to what some of the features the, the Spark has in terms of the, uh, I think they're called quick shots for the DJI Spark and maybe for some of the, the, the other DJI drones. You can do a circle, you can do a 360, do it up, up and away, which is like a rocket for the, the DJI uh, Spark. It'll have electronic image stabilization. It will not have a gimbal. It has uh, Intel, uh, processors, five megapixel pictures. You'll see it comes with uh, the, the propeller guards. And I think most people would probably want to use the propeller guards since they're gonna be using it inside and in close quarters. Uh, it's only going to be 80 grams. So for most countries, it's gonna be underneath the, the, the weight limit where regulations for uh, you know, like FA, FAA and the CAA and those uh, regulatory bodies that uh, control airspace. Most countries, this will fit underneath that, so you won't have to register it and do all that stuff. It's gonna be considered a toy, right? It's lightweight. So it'll have uh, a lot of DJI technology inside for auto takeoff and landing, uh, low battery protection, visual positioning sensor, uh, fail safe protection. Anyway, so in case you lose connection with the, the controlling device, whether that's your phone or whatever, uh, it'll land safely. And then one of the th cool things that I think they've done with this is they've made it an open system where you can actually play around uh, with coding to add features to it, for instance. They're using an MIT based coding system uh, that you can go in and you can program it. Uh, and you don't really have to be a programmer to know how to do that. You can also interact with it with the SDK and create uh, customized accessories as well. So uh, it will be uh, kind of cool. You can see that it's powered by DJI. I think it's going to be uh, technically branded as a RISE, R-Y-Z-E tool, and it is manufactured by RISE, not by DJI. Support of it will be based from Rise as well. That is the uh, the new DJI Tello, uh, I mean uh, the Rise Tello, which is $99. Looks like a lot of fun and uh, 
we will see uh, see how it is uh, when it comes out in the real world. If DJI or Rise sees this, I would love to get my hands on one and do a review of it. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was useful and I hope to see you on another video soon.